I think I first became aware of vintage clothing specifically was by watching old movies, uh, especially the old MGM movies of the 1930s, which uh, provided the real template in my brain for how I wanted to look. My name is Gregory Moore, and I am a singer and a band leader in New York City. Growing up in a small town in Michigan, I, there weren't many people who were exactly fashion forward. The film stars of the 20s, 30s, and 40s that I most look to for inspiration are Noel Coward, Gary Cooper, Clark Gable, and of course, Cary Grant. The thing that I find exciting about uh, clothing today is the clothing of yesterday, in fact. And since we are now linked globally, uh, the thrill of discovery of finding beautiful items from the 20s and 30s and even earlier continues to be what excites me about fashion. If I'm wearing a 1930s suit, I wear it without irony. I like to wear them dead on uh, as a as a well-cut and beautifully made suit. I think that 1930s fashion can look just as uh, dynamic, if not more so today, than it did in its own era. Well, the story of how I found this suit is a year-long saga, in that I first saw the suit in the vintage store on Fifth Avenue in New York. They were very, very overpriced. Uh, I saw one suit that was in its own plastic bag, which I thought was rather odd, so I unzipped it and I just saw the shoulder and it was this creamy ivory flannel and I just pulled it out and I saw the belted back and I was like, la madonna. So I took it out and I put the jacket on and it fit like a dream and I put on the pants and they fit like a dream. Uh, the, there was a very nice sales lady there who came over and complimented me on how well I looked in the suit and I said I'm afraid to look at the price and I pulled it out of the pocket and uh, saw that it said $1,200. So that was not in the budget and uh, so I very sadly took it off and put it back in the bag knowing that there was no way that was going to be in my budget. I knew that it was probably the last time I would see it because how could such a beautiful suit stay? So, But a month later I went and uh, there it was and I tried it on again and the same lovely sales lady is waiting on me and she says, oh, you got to get that suit. And I said, I know, but I, I, I can't afford that. I said, are the prices at all adjustable? And she said, let me go ask. Uh, well, I, I, I won't use his real name. It was, uh, we'll call him Bargain Benny. And he was a famously nasty man, just awful, awful man. In any case, she came back from Bargain Benny and said, nope, he ain't budging. So I continued to go back every month. I had to go in for over a year and it was still there and price never changed. So, <laughs> Fade to black about 15 months after I first saw this suit. I'm walking by and I see going out of business sale, Bargain Benny's. So I thought, now is my moment. And I went back. Everything is slashed prices. He said everything is 50% off except for certain items. And of course, my suit was one of the certain items that were not uh, discounted. And he was not even willing, even though they're going out of business, was not willing to come down at all. So I'm trying on the suit and the lovely sales lady came over to me and I'm, I've got the suit on, and she says to me, you know, I've seen you try that suit on. You've been in here like every month for a year, right? I said, yeah. She goes, you really love that suit. You should have that suit. She said, you know, today's my last day here, and I hate that motherfucker. Just give me $200. <laughs> so... I did. I gave her $200. She put it in a bag and I walked out. And, well, I now have the suit. <laughs>